Hello all my Oreo friends, and this is another video for you guys. Um, let's get started. It's not going to be a weekly Bible verse for this week. It's going to be this card that this some uh, random guy gave to my grandma, and she gave it to me, and I want to thank uh, the Lord for giving this to him to make, and to give to my grandma, and to give to me. And now I'm going to share it with you guys. So that's the best part of it, sharing the gospel. And that's what we all need to do. And right now I'm uploading a video, that's why I just did that. But anyways, let's get started. So, uh, this card comes with this. And you'll know what this is in just a few seconds. So let's get started. Remember that Jesus... Christ bled one drop of blood for you. And this is what it means, is a drop of blood just for you. And Jesus Christ died on the cow cross of Calvary. He hung on the cross of Calvary just for you. And he bled one drop for you. And if you're saved by the grace of God, that will mean something to you because you're washed by the blood of Jesus. Once you're saved... You're a part of that blood. But he died for all of our sins. He's he's always with us, but he's with us closer if we're saved by the grace of God. Like, we'll have him for eternal. And God loves his children. We're all his children. But once we're saved by the grace of God, like, we're fully his children. And... We need to get saved before it's too late because when Jesus comes back, that's it, my friends. There's no more need to get saved because it'll be the end. And so we need to be ready to go to heaven because we can't get ready right at the end of the end of the world. But we can be prepared and already be ready for when the end of the world happens. And that's what... I'm here to tell you guys um, that if um, <clears throat> if you're not saved by the grace of God, just ask God to come into your life, and He will in His timing. But it may not be today, it may not be tomorrow, it may be next week, or next month, or next year, or years to come, or any time. Only God knows. When he sees fit for it's time, then it's time. And and I want to thank the Lord right now because my friend got saved yesterday, I'm pretty sure. So thank you, Lord, for that. Um, so yeah, if you guys are not saved, just ask God to come into your life, and he will. And he'll either knock on your heart and... Or he'll talk to you in a small voice like he did me. Like, get saved, get saved, or something like that. Then you need to accept him. Because if you don't accept him now, you may not get another chance. Because this could be your first and last chance. Or it may be your first and some other chances. But I wouldn't take that risk. I'd just accept him right then and now. And that's what I did. And it's the best gift. And the best gift is salvation, and that's all we need. And so just ask God to come into your life, and he will in his timing. We just have to believe, have faith, hope, trust, and love in the Lord. And so, yeah, and I want to share this with you guys. Um, it's like a little testimony there. But anyways... <clears throat> A few days ago, uh, it came to my mind that, you know, I'm saved. Like, Jesus, like, just told me that I'm saved. Then, I, it felt like he was preparing me for something. Because, you know, I, I, I really didn't ask him, like, to, well, I might, and I might not. But anyways, that's beside that point. But anyways, like, it felt like he was... Like getting me ready, prepared for this next battle yet to come. And then 
yesterday, which was Sunday. That's when it all started. Basically, the devil tried to lie to me. He tried to like get me down. He said that I wasn't saved. Then I was like, you know, God showed me many times that I was saved. And so I have to be saved. Then it came into my mind, you know, God prepared me for this battle. So then I was like, devil, you're a liar. And then it was just all gone. Then all of a sudden it just came right back to me after I left church. Um, then like it just hit me harder and harder. Then I was like, well, if I'm not saved, then you know I'm just gonna pray about it. So I prayed that you know if I'm not saved, you know just please save me. But then all of a sudden, like I doubted God, and it just went like that, like a. I don't know, like a switch, like if you turn the light off, that's how it felt, like God just turned me off. Then, I was like, you know, I was scared, I was really scared, I was like, no, because I've not really went through this, but then I asked for forgiveness, then the light switch just turned back on, and God was right there with me, he's always with me, he was there with me, he's just putting, like, like, I guess it was like putting me through the test to whether or not like if I uh, ask for forgiveness for it. But I grew stronger because now I know not to doubt God. Because if I do, you know, you know, God made us. You know, He, He knows what to do. He knows how um, to bring us down to a point where we need, you know, to be forgiven. And you know, it's it's amazing what. God can do, and it's amazing what a prayer can do, because a prayer is awesome, it's like our superpower that God gave us, so we do have superpowers, and it's prayer, and we can pray for people, and it heals people, and it, but it may not, like, at that very second, only in God's timing, and so yeah, and that's basically um, it, guys, so please like, subscribe, and comment below, don't forget Guys, uh, Jesus saves, and don't take the chip, and eat some Oreos on this channel. And also, if you guys are not saved, just ask God to come into your life, and he will, in his timing. And just pray for the lost, pray for the sick, pray for me, because I'm starting to get, like, a allergies or head cold or something like that. So, remember that, guys. So, yeah. And keep on subscribing. Hopefully, I'll get 100 subscribers by the time the end of the year. And God bless.